And welcome back to another part of Google Walk, this playthrough of Sunrider, I'm also going to Sunrider, first of all, I'm fine. I'm playing Sunrider again. Oh, by the way, I just looked it up uh, between, uh, in between parts. And if I said episode, I meant part. And if I said let's play, I didn't say let's play. I know for a fact I didn't say let's play, but yeah, you know, you, you get an idea. Um, but anyway, I looked it up, and yes, uh, and yeah, uh, Sunrider Academy did come out in 2015, April something of uh, 2015, either April 12th or 20, or 15th, didn't quite remember right that part, but if it came out 2015, a year later after this game came out. So yeah, but anyway, uh, we're going to deck one and talk to Churga. Churga. He, oh, sorry, Captain, didn't see you. Coming in, see you. Uh, I didn't see you coming there. All right. Oh, Again, yeah, no, I have effect on people. Uh, Churga. <laughs> that, uh, that must be the third time that's happened. That, uh, you know, sorry, you get really focused on your work, huh? Churga. Whenever I'm working on something, I tend to lose awareness of everything else. That, uh, Churga. Is there something you need, Captain? Or, <laughs> Churga. What, is there something you need, Captain? Um, how are you listening to the Sunrider? Here we go. The Sunrider is a wonderful vessel. In fact, I don't think I've ever been on a ship. I, I, I don't. In fact, I don't think I've been on a ship as advanced. As well. Oh, okay, I, I, I can what they're trying to say. I agree. Okay. I can what they're trying to say. Okay. All right. Here we go. The Sunrider is a wonderful vessel. In fact, I don't think I've ever been on the ship as advanced in my life. Yeah. Makes two of us. Kurga. In fact, I was just wanting I was just running some energy conversion models the other day. And I can say that the that the Sunrider's core drive is one of the most efficient in the galaxy. It is indeed. Kurga. Since the Sunrider is powerful, uh, powered through atomic fusion, you don't have to worry about ra radiation management. Now, I now I think if I were able to upgrade the fuel feeder with dot dot. Yeah, see that's fusion, not fission. Fission are nuclear reactors. Fusion is different, and this probably runs on cold fusion, which is even better. Uh, and it's a different technology, and it's safer this way. Or say within the other way. Sure. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go. I didn't mean to bore you with techno babble. Da da. Or I mean, you must be busy. So um, da da. Uh, da da. What are you talking about again? Well, sure. Can you, can, can you can you please repeat the question? You, you know, I won't, it won't be boring me. Not that I can get bored, mind you. Um, well, yeah. Alright, so we got two options. Come down, Churia. I was just asking you, I was just asking how you were doing, or actually, I was thinking, I was thinking of upgrading the fuel feeder with new Prixium coating, too. Yeah, you know, if I lived in this universe, I would have to the second option, because I, you know, I, 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 I know stuff, I think. Churia. Err, uh, you knew about the Mark II? Indeed. Kiddo. That just came out with Kiddo, didn't it? Sure. Oh, I, I didn't know the captain was a gearhead too. Indeed I am. Kiddo. They wouldn't give me the keys to the ship without me knowing something about it. Sure, yeah. Guess that's true, hee hee. Know that? Yeah, that is a good point, Gato. I mean, a ship that's fans and you don't know anything about it would be bad. Would be extremely, extremely bad. Alright, anyways. So, what do you think? So, what do you uh, think about what happened to the mercenary? Or with the mercenary? Trigger. Mmm. Da da. So, as long as a curry is going to be working with us, I guess I don't see a big problem. Yeah, me too. Haven't, I haven't really spoken with her, uh, with her much since. But I think she regrets what she did. Yeah, she kind of does a little bit. Sure. Yeah. I hope we can work together to stop packs. Da da. All right. So uh, that'll be it. So keep up the good work, Sure. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Actually, I'll talk to you in like two seconds because I'm I'm gonna need to go over to the other room and uh, meet you there so we can talk about the research stuff. 
Cure gun. Goodbye, Captain. See you later, Jurga. By later, I mean two seconds. After I figure out, there we go. No, not Dick Zero, Dick One. All right, let's go research and development. Welcome to research and development. Okay, what you wanna do? All right, we got the Phoenix now. Uh, I guess we mess with this. Or should we, um, what can we get? Uh, that's like, what, 750? I wouldn't be able to get more reactor points. That would be bad. What could I do, though? Uh, I can increase the damage of the laser, of laser-based weaponry, which wouldn't be too bad. Could increase the cost. I couldn't decrease the cost. Could increase the accuracy, but that's not necessary. I could increase the accuracy of kinetics again. I think. Yeah, I could definitely. That could probably do that. Um, for you, because we don't have to mess with. We don't need to mess with a uh, delivery right now. I could definitely up your hull playing. But no, you don't need that much more health. Oh, I can up your armor. Let's see, increase the building. So, yeah, I got an idea. Captain. Come again soon. Hold the phone, hold the phone. Gotta get to my quarters. Still getting confused. Alright. Run for deer. Run for deer. Alright. Bam. 140. 141. I'll do it. And hope. Uh, oh, we're here. Alright, that's good. Research and development. Thank you. No, that's one. That's not one. Four invasion. I did increase it by one. All right. But I did increase it. All right. That's good. I think it increased it anyway. Not quite sure. This whole plane, but that's but that's just more health, which would have been entirely bad now, wouldn't it? Can oh, I could decrease the cost of the uh, laser. Yeah. Won't be so much right now, but in the future it might be. Hmm. Ah, uh, we're just lo we're just slightly low on the uh, armor cost. Um. What's the one you think of the Sunrider? We saw playing by one. Uh, That'll keep us, you know, that would keep us alive a little bit longer. You know, enough longer that we could repair the uh, Blachik instead, or just a bit longer to get the ship out of the zone, or just a bit longer for various reasons. Or, you know, just a bit longer so we don't have to use the repair drones. Use laser damage, that's not really necessary. Actually, it might be. How much would uh, increase it to? 220, and that's not that much, but it could help. I don't have the missile connects quite yet. Armor, can't buy any of these. Could save the money. Which would be not a bad thing. I don't think they're saving the money because we can't really buy anything else. I can, I can decrease the cost, but right now that's just, mean, that's just meaningless. If I were to decrease this twice, which I can't right now, but if I can, that'll make the laser be able to fire twice, I think. Um No, we're gonna save the money. We're gonna save the money, you, not going to decide. Come again soon. Alright, we're ready. Let's uh, head over to the bridge. Captain, I just received a message from the neutral world of Ry Ry that Ravina. Ravina, you mean Arcado okay, Ravina? You mean you mean contacted by the by royalty? Oh, interesting. Cool. I, I guess one can say cool, and I will say cool because that is cool. Cool. All right. Ava. Correct. Ravina is one of the oldest stations in the galaxy with a history going back over ten thousand years. In fact, some historians say that Ravina might be might have been the birth uh, might have been the birthplace of, my, of humanity. Ah, so I don't even know where Earth is. Or don't even know what the Earth, they don't. 
You know, it's not a question of they don't know where they don't know where Earth is. It's the question of do they even know what where, what Earth is? Not where it is, but what it is. And if they, you know, because they don't seem they don't seem to know. You know, like I said, ten thousand years, and they, uh, you know, it's ten, you know, they're ten thousand years, and even, you know, even then, that's not back far enough to know what, to know what Earth is. So. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, now, let's see what they got to say. Put them on screen. Nope. Hello. Jailor. El Sonrado, I am King Jailor de Ravina. Okay, now. Greetings, Your Highness. I am Captain Gator Shields of the Starship Sunrider. This, this is my first officer, Ava Christandia. Jailor. I have heard your deeds in the neutral realm and believe you may be of help. What do, what do you need, sir? Jailer. There is a treasure known to our people which we seek to retrieve from the no from the Nordum Corridor. Perform well and we shall bestow you with great riches. Alright. Kato, what are you looking for? Kato. Crown Jewel of Lavinia. There you go. Crown Jewel, I presume it's a value? Yeah, not only material value, but you know, value as in as a precious heirloom with their families. Jailor, the can the, yeah, Jailor. The Kingdom of Ravinia holds many secrets, Captain. You have about request, I shall be waiting. Alright, we can do that. Okay, though. Uh, that's it, not much to go off of, is it? Ava. Well, maybe this might set some light on the matter. What you got? What? Okay, kid of what? Eva, a rumor on the streets. A rumor on the streets of Ravinia is the princess has gone missing. I see. Get out of the princess, and and what's the crown jewel have to do with that? Eva, we've been doing some research on Ravinia treasures and come across this book. I see. We have our own research stuff? Did you just research stuff? Or... Something. I uh, you know, that's something you don't really discuss on how many crew does the Sunrider have after leaving port. Because you only see the crew that you get. Like, we know Ava's here. We know Kato's here. And, you know, we you know... You know people have joined our crew, like Asurga, Churga, and Ikari. However, we don't see anyone else. And there's apparently other people here, but we don't see them as you can see. Uh, well, you know, they did say the Sunrider was supposed to be, you know, Sunrider was meant to be crewed by a skeleton crew anyway, or or could be crewed by a skeleton crew, so, you know, we might not, need, no, they might just be so few number, like there's only, what, five of them? Uh, so yeah, but anyway. Okay, no, the last, the last, the technology catalog, Ava, is an encyclopedia of various thriving treasures, that have gone missing through, uh, throughout history. Ah. I mean, if you have 10,000 year history, that would, you know, some things do, t do tend to get lost, I would say. Ava, according to this book, the Crown Jewel isn't a crepe gem, but rather a highly advanced crystalline device which can, which can pinpoint the location of the royal, uh, royal blood across astronomical distances. Ah. So they want to find their princess. Okay, no, ah. Yeah, uh, and let me guess, the Ravinians won the crown jewel to help find their princess. Ava. Bingo, at least that's the best ex that's the best explanation I can think of. Uh, Alright, more, more, more dialogue options. Again, that the continue these are not. Alright. It's been a lot of talking so far. A good an hour and a half, and we're not even done yet. Uh, you know, that just happens with uh, visual novels, is the fact that, you know... Regardless of how much gameplay there are in visual novels, if it's if it if they consider it a visual novel, it's gonna have like a good hours worth of dialogue per uh, per gameplay session. Whether the gameplay session is a, just a few minutes, uh, whether the gameplay session is like thirty minutes, an hour, uh, fifteen minutes, or in worst case scenarios, it, you know, it's just a little gameplay thing they add they add into the uh, visual novel aside from the, aside from their dialogue options, uh, and that's like less than a minute long. But fortunately, we're playing Sunrider, and the missions can, you know, missions are basically around like 30 minutes. You know, they're between an hour and 30 minutes, usually. 
but, but still, that seems like a common thing uh, of visual novels is the fact that, you know, no matter how much gameplay there is, there's going to be long, long periods of just talking. Um, so, yeah, which is not necessarily a bad or a good thing. It can be a bad thing if you really don't like talking, uh, but it's a good thing if you do like talking like I do. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what, you got? what do we got? Did you debrief me on King Jiller and the Rivians? Or, or, and why would the Rivians invent such a crazy device in the first place? Or tell me more about the lost technology since we were just talking about that. Let's talk about that. So tell me more about the lost technology. About lost technology. Ava, it's an ancient technology left behind by the former Ravenian Empire. That's what we're for this. Ava. A long time ago, before the formation of the Solar Alliance, the Ravine Empire conquered the entire galaxy using technology we could not, we could not, we could not even conceive of. Ah. When their empire collapsed, much of their technology was lost in their extreme chaos. All right. You could say that humanity's scientific knowledge peaked at the height of the Ravine Empire. And with its collapse, entered, entered into a dark age. Are we currently in this dark age? We've been trying to keep up to Ravine, Ravinian's level of, of, of sophistication ever since. Uh, but it still, still takes decades until we achieve anything as good as the ancient Ravinians. Wow. And that was, what, 10,000 years ago? Yeah, they say the current Ravinians date back to 10,000 years ago, and ancient Ravinians... Uh, actually, no, they, you know, they say, like, the Alliance was founded somewhere at, somewhere, you know, at the end of that period. So, 10,000 years ago, I would say the, I'd say the Alliance was only, is only a couple hundred years old, if that, at this point in time. Uh, Alright. Uh, Ava. We call the pieces of technology left by the ancient Ravinians lost technology. Whenever one is found, it will dramatically change the balance of power of the galaxy. Ah. All right then. Uh. All right then. Brief me on King Jailer and the Rivians then. Ava. A long time ago, the Rivian Empire stretched across, stretched, stretched across the galaxy. It's it's vast military powered by technologies, which have be, which have become long forgotten. Um. Uh, basic. I guess when they referred to the Empire earlier, that's what they were referring to, the Ravinian Empire. And that's probably what Pax came out of. It was fast and mighty empire who, where culture and science is flourished. Or flourished it. Uh, which would probably explain why the Pax had this planet killer. Or not planet killer, but gla or planet glasser type cannon. Uh, Ava. But the glory days could not last forever. Legends speak of vast... Uh, of a vast calamity that shook the core of the Ravinian Empire and caused its ultimate collapse. Yeah. Formation of Solar Alliance fully, uh, fully, uh, further degraded the Ravinian's power, Ravinia's power, and today all that's left of its former glory is the sole planet Ravinia. Ah. Kind of like no ancient Rome and no, Rome is the only no part of Rome that's left. Everything else been messed up, like you got London going to the Brit going to the British, Paris going to the uh, French, um, and basically and basically like Greece being separated and the Middle East, you know, the Middle East being the Middle East. Um, you know, you get the idea. And even then, uh, Rome is doesn't represent Rome anymore; it represents something else. So yeah, I mean, well, what's a better example then? Of an empire that's broken down over time, and now it's like very now it's very few of it left. Uh, I guess oh Greece would be a much better example, wouldn't it? Yeah, Greece would, because you know Greece stayed as Greece, unlike Rome, which basically formed into Italy. But anyway, uh, Eva, you can still find pieces of the former empire scattered throughout the galaxy, though. The New York archaeologists and space explorers seek the Ravinian treasures, which hold we show the secret to unlocking the power of their lost technology. Ah. All right. What? Uh. Why would Ravinians invent such a crazy device in the first place? Referring to the uh, device that finds the royal blood, or people of the royal line. Ava. Dice. Dice. <laughs> 
I never saw that word before. I think it means basically, you know, a dynasty and, a, you know, a dynasty type government style. Uh, dynastic succession. During ancient times, whoever succeeded the Roman, the, uh, not Roman, uh, Rovinian throne essentially ruled the galaxy. Needless to say, there were many any imposters, there were many imposters who claimed the throne. The crown jewel of, of Ravinia was made with the utmost precision to detect royal blood. You could, you could even say that the, that the fate of the galaxy depended upon its accuracy. Well, yeah. Much of what we dug up of the ancient Ravinian technology escapes conversion, though. Some of the details of the device may never be understood. Yeah. And hey, that's that. So, uh, well, well, since we can use the money, we might as well help the Ravinians get their uh, crown jewel back. Well, yeah. Anyway, I understood, Captain. I punched in the coordinates for... Novodorn Corridor. Just set your course in the storm up and we'll, and we'll be on the way. All right. Uh, I can end it. I'll, uh, we'll see what it is and I'll end it. All right, we got. Just looking because I could. All right, Noble Dorn. Noble Dorn Courier. Warning uncharted. This sector of space is... Is distant from civilization. The Nomandor Corridor is a huge expanse of gas surrounding an infant star. Rumors of mountains of unclaimed treasure brought criminals have brought, or have brought criminal and adventurers alike to, no, to the Nomadorn Corridor. Who knows what riches and dangers await? Well, we'll find out next time. The uh, the classic, a classic YouTuber trope. Um, but anyway, so um, yeah, that'd be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate, I do appreciate, I do appreciate you guys watching on this video. It's up to me. Uh, also, if you don't want to leave a comment, if you want to destroy the video, if you want to destroy the video, if you want to the series, like what upgrades you should get, or if you want to play, uh, send around your journal, to even roll tips, and you just come to feel the real tip. And I guess, see you in a second.